who decides where hospitals are to be open? What about schools? Who decides that? The parks that you play in? Have you ever wondered who is in charge of making sure that the street lights are working or the garbage is collected regularly and disposed of safely? In villages back in the day, the elders would form a small committee and take all the decisions regarding village welfare. This is how the concept of Panchayat came in. They have a body consisting of the elected representatives of the village. The Gram Panchayat is what we are talking about. So, Gram means village, Panch means five, and Ayat means assembly. But what about cities though? Well, the administration of cities is a little different from the panchayat system that someone who has grown up in a village might be used to. Big cities have municipal corporations and smaller towns have municipal councils or municipalities. These organizations take care of the planning and the administration of the area. These are the governing bodies. The term panchayat has its origin in India, as we saw earlier. But the term municipal comes from Latin. Municipum means free city. When these big cities have a population of over 10 lakhs, they're called metropolitan cities or metropolis. Metropolis is a Greek word coming from metera, meaning mother, and polis, meaning city or town. So, metropolis is like a mother city, a prime city. A metropolis is a large city which is an important center for the country in terms of the number of people who live there and their livelihoods. These cities also have an impact on the way the people in a country live their lives, their music, their art, and even their movies. The metropolis is an important hub for all sorts of connections with countries across borders. Let's take the example of New Delhi. The population of New Delhi in 2011 was 1.68 crores. New Delhi is the capital of our country and it has been the capital for a very long time since 13th February 1931, to be precise. New Delhi is where our parliament building and the president's house called the Rashtrapati Bhavan and all the important central government offices are located. New Delhi is also of historical importance by being at the center of many memorable moments in our country's history. Mumbai is a metropolis too. As of 2011, its population was 1.84 crores. Mumbai is the financial capital of India. But what probably makes it a hub is the superb natural harbour that has become the centre of attraction for sea routes crossing the Arabian Sea. Mumbai has become the main western gateway that connects India with the world. Chennai, Bengaluru, Kolkata, Pune, Hyderabad. These are some of the important metropolitan cities of India. Hmm, now that we've seen what the different metro cities in our country look like, big cities have municipal corporations and smaller towns have municipal councils. When these big cities have a population of over 10 lakhs, they're called metropolitan cities or metropolis. New Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata, Bengaluru, Hyderabad and Pune are some of the important metro cities in India. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, 
like and subscribe to our channel now.